It's another day at the gathering of members of the Nigeria legal profession, eminent lawyers, judges and invited guests, some who joined virtually at the ongoing Nigerian Bar Association Conference 2022. The lawyer must be respectful to the court. This breakout session put together by the Section on Public Interest and Development Law, SPEDL, features prominent members of the bar who discuss the consequences of undermining the judiciary under the country's democracy. On Section 84, the colonial legislation, i.e., you have defeated an attorney general court. You now want to enforce the judgment. You write to him for leave to enforce the judgment. He won't give you. Since 1960, no attorney general has authorized anybody to go and garnish the account of the government or levy execution. What do we do? It looks like we are obsessed with custodial sentences. We are obsessed with imprisonment. And I think part of it is that the judiciary should find time to visit places of detention. We did it in Enugu, 50 magistrates were meant to come into the Enugu custodial facility to see the asylum unit. We have found that about 10% of those who were in custodial center in Enugu were persons who are mentally ill, some classified as civil lunatics, some classified as criminal lunatics. And just for your information, the civil lunatics did not commit any offense. These bright minds in the legal profession and rights advocate put more of the blame on the judiciary branch of government that undermines the judicial process more in Nigeria is not the executive, it's not the legislature, it's the judicial branch of government. When you undermine your judiciary, you undermine the rule of law. When you undermine the rule of law, you undermine democracy, you undermine fundamental rights, you undermine the ability of the judiciary to check the excesses of the other branches of government. I believe that not allowing litigants to reap the fruits of their labor has set a consequential, down consequential effects. One, it leads to self-help. It leads to descent into anarchy. It leads, it, in fact, it cripples confidence in the rule of law and in a judicial system and makes judges themselves to feel belittled. At the end of the day, all gathered here agree that it is time to take action and build strong institutions to entrench democracy. Melissa Antwonwoka, Channels Television News.